Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at uh, spare choke uh, noise displacement. Um, in the past, in order to displace a surface based on the on the something like vector turbulence or vector noise, this is probably what you you should do. Uh, you use the move node, and you calculate the normals, and then you have this mesh data passing in, and then you multiply the normal using vector turbulence and that's kind of tricky because there's a lot of things going on but these days you can actually use something called noise displays I probably should have posted this video before my talk about um, the mountain and stone and rocks but anyhow so let's do it everything we have uh, we have just this plain node and if we pass this in into the noise displays we're gonna end up with the new vertices which already been displaced using noise and this is actually the default um, if you apply it to plane with less resolutions you don't see much but over 100 vertices by 100 vertices you're gonna start to see something so this looks very turbulence that's because we are using the vector it's actually affecting in uh, affecting this in all three directions you probably want it to be using the normals instead with the normal it's uh, slightly uh, easier to understand so you want to actually turn on normalize if you are using plane and maybe using like 200 by 200 and you start to play around with the value so this is the blender noise we have cell oh, we have perlin we have voronoi we have a lot of voronoi that you can try there is the Fornoi Crackle and also my favorite is Cell Noise so yeah there isn't much uh, you can play around with the seed you can actually create a bunch of this plane and then randomize the seed so that's actually something pretty cool that you can do for example you just plug in line which, you, which will duplicate this plane let's make it like 5 so if you want to have 5 variations of this currently they are all the same but if you are using range range integer number range and plug this into the seed you're gonna have different variations for each one of them and then you can actually start scaling it up if you like in a certain directions so you get something that's kind of like a city are they all the same they should be just uh, different so maybe i need to do this split ah okay so i might be wrong with the seed so don't worry about the seed for now. Just gonna delete that. Okay, so we have this plane, noise displays, and we can actually further modify this using the locations of the noise. So that's uh, in the X, this is in the Y direction and in the z in the z is gonna the noise gonna go like ups and down kind of nice you can actually animate this and save it as alembic if you like so that's basically noise displays in a nutshell if you want to make modifications into the input you can do that um, i changed the tool to link cut and then shift right mouse button drag we're gonna create this rewire so instead of using plane we can then using 
something like a box and we can control the subdivisions plug this into the vertices and the polygon now we are modifying a box and I'm scaling up this box and see if I can get kind of good result um, so that's with the cell noise and I'm actually see we can actually control the X Y Z displacement directions which is kind of cool because you can actually zero out in certain axes and only get the, the top and the bottom for example and if you don't want the shape of the box you can apply matrices here and scale it okay it's a little bit nicer and more interesting and then you can increase the subdivisions in only in the x and y 40 by 40 perhaps even higher 100 by 100 okay there's a lot of details At any time in points, you can just duplicate it and test it out if you subdivide how it's going to look. So, Blender Original, okay, this one. If we actually scale the box ups and down, we can get a different result. That's actually kind of more like a closer approximation of the noise. So you can move move it in X and Y again and the Z. Kind of try to reshape this plane or or rather this box. Okay, so blender, perlin, Fornoy. I want to get that Fornoy look with this box. Okay, it doesn't look like a Oronoi yet. Maybe I need to scale this box because there you go. That's a you can see as I'm scaling down the box, you can see the this Oronoi pattern kind of a little bit more visible. It's looking more like a Oronoi. And what you want perhaps to increase this value. Although you maybe you want to also control the this scale of this uh, noise. Okay, that seems to work. So with the box, let's make it twenty. Now it's still like four noise like. Four noise F one F two. F3 so if you apparently so if you scale this too much it doesn't look like Polonoi but if you scale it down so you need to kind of balance the size with the actual noise And you can change the the map cap to give you the the look that you want. Turn on cavity and shadow on and off if you like. And with the with spread chalk, you normally you get this hard edge unless you turn on the smoothing smooth shades. All right. Okay, that's a. Uh, that's nice right um, yeah I guess at this point you really just play around with the resolutions until you get the, the look that you want if you want to do further with this you can actually subdivide just subdivide light 
and do the subdivisions and then another noise displacement on top of that so another noise displacement and you can add like a like a smaller details uh, noise into the mesh so you can so you subdivide it right and then you noise displace and then control this noise matrices and use a smaller value kind of like layering the noise together Okay, so two different type of noise working together to make this like a kind of like a mountain stone. It looks really nice from the top, from the side. Okay, it's kind of okay. You need to perhaps there's a way to layer this a little bit better. In fact, don't forget that we have vector turbulence and vector noise node. This one actually have a lot more that you can work with and then you plug this into the maybe the scale or the vector. We actually have texture displays, but texture displays is more like if you have a procedural texture and you layer the texture and then use that um, there's a lot of things that's actually dealing with noise within SpreadJob so let's see so this one actually already like small details so maybe at the beginning we use something that's kind of large in terms of the noise to get like a like mountain shape. Ah, all right. So it's like uh, it's become a noise at this point. Maybe this one is a little bit too strong. So let's see if what what happened if we zero this out. So we have this. So because this is like a smaller detail, so maybe we use less. So now this is more controllable so I think this is pretty nice mind you that this is actually quite high resolution so that's uh, almost one more subdivision and it's already gonna be too much depending on your computer RAM and processing power this is actually pretty good and you can actually simply bake it out file export GLD only export selected and see if we can make it into USDZ so there is a bug with the latest Mac OS and this reality converter I realize normally if you just drag drag and drop the mesh and then you are using the material it's gonna apply it right away <clears throat> but somehow in this latest version it you can't see the result which is uh, kind of too bad but if you export this out if you share it you can see uh, the result actually so let's export this as USDZ and bring it back into Reality Converter. <clears throat> there you go, that's the result. 
uh, even though the UV, you, you can see the UV is just like projecting it from one axis or maybe this is just automatic UV by reality converter but you can see now we have the result and yeah it's not updating but it's uh, you can see it's actually working all right so that's practically how you can create like a stone kind of mesh 3d mesh using noise displays so as you layer this noise displays more and more you're gonna have a more interesting like a mountain kind of result okay um there you go i guess nothing much to say uh, but give it a try play around with it experiment and maybe you can create something that's more interesting than this thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye